In the previous video, we explored Macon, Georgia and Stone Mountain Park. Today we continue where we left off, driving through Tennessee all the way to Western Kentucky, searching for the best place to watch the August 21st solar eclipse. I'm free in my RV. Yeah. This video is sponsored by Rat Power Bikes. We have enjoyed our stay here in Georgia tremendously and reluctantly leave this beautiful campground. Before we go, keep in mind that many of the Stone Mountain attractions only open on weekends. So there's a bunch of stuff that we wanted to do, like riding the scenic railroad or the dock tours, and they weren't available during our stay. We continue, bearing northwest towards the path of totality. We circumvent Atlanta here, although we still get a little bit of traffic. We're going to stop here at this rest area just 9 miles before Calhoun to make a quick lunch, you know, one of those delicious simple meals you can make on the road. Okay, hello everybody, today we're gonna prepare a dish that is very easy to prepare and, and since we are right now at uh, the rest area, it's perfect like just to throw something together real quick and when you are on the road. Uh, we're gonna make uh, my version or our version of the uh, Spanish dish called uh, garbanzo frito, which is just fried chickpeas. So we have some some canned uh, chickpeas here that we put on this container. And here we have some cubed ham, and some uh, serrano ham, which is a Spanish version of prosciutto, and some um, um, what you call it? Salami, salami and Spanish chorizo. And we're gonna season it with some cilantro, some. Um, uh, paprika, smoked paprika, and some oregano and some cumin, very important the cumin. If you want to see the whole process, you know, with details, I will put a link to that video, you know, of my upcoming RV cooking show. You saw what that guy did? Good thing I still have pretty good reflexes, huh? I mean, I, I know some truckers don't really like RVers, but that was uncalled for. Next up, the Tennessee Welcome Center. We are approaching Chattanooga, although we are not stopping this time. We wish. There's Lookout Mountain, which we actually had planned to visit. The Tennessee River to our right. The plan is actually to stay at Marion County Park, which we discovered during last year's road trip. It is right on the bank of the Tennessee River and a very short distance from uh, Interstate 24. By the way, I-24 dips briefly back into Georgia here and then back into Tennessee. Here we are, driving around the campground, looking for the office. Pretty nice, huh? Here we are, we found it. Here's our waterfront site, 
or so we think. Check it out, that right there, that's the Tennessee River. Uh, we are staying here at um, uh, Marion uh, County Park. And check it out, somebody just said, um, um, lowered their boat into the river. We discovered this place last year while we were staying. Actually, you can't see it, but it's right there, that peninsula over there. That's the, the, the welcome center, the Tennessee welcome center. And we saw the campground from there and we said, hmm, that place looks neat. So yeah, it is hot in Tennessee. As I said, the name of this idyllic place is uh, Marion uh, Park, uh, Marion County Park, right here. In, uh, just, it's near the border with uh, Georgia. In fact, uh, our, our phones still show Eastern time instead of Central time, but it's very nice, very neat. We're gonna, we're gonna stay here just one night and then we continue on our journey Northwest, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can go to a winery or to the Incline Railway. We don't know. Or Ruby Falls. It's getting late, so we might just stay here and uh, relax and enjoy this magnificent uh, scenery. Yeah, apparently I spoke too soon. Just as we finish getting settled here, uh, the camp host came by apologizing because apparently my site had been reserved by someone else. Our new neighbor seems like a nice guy, a very talkative, obviously a frequent camper here, with the heaviest, I mean almost incomprehensible southern drawl. Maybe it's just me, I'm concentrating here on hooking up the trailer and a little upset about our impromptu move, I'll be honest about it. Okay, this is actually turning out to be a little more of an ordeal than expected. Our new site, it turns, it is very off-level. And I find out after unhitching, so I hitch again, put on the leveling Legos, you know, under the wheels, and back and unhitch again, and then boom! Mitini just fell off the leveler. I'm glad it didn't roll back all the way to the river, actually. <sighs> I need a drink. Speaking of that, I think I mentioned that there is a winery nearby. The winery, aptly named the Lookout Winery, is perched on top of this hill. Yep, all the way up here. They are supposed to have like really good pizza too, that they cook in this uh, 800 degrees wood-fired ovens with imported ingredients and all that. Uh, first, let's look for the tasting room. Well, they have breakfast pizza. Here we are, so let's engage in this very organized way to get drunk, also called a wine tasting. After the tasting, we decide to have dinner al fresco out here. From up here, supposedly, you can see three states. Tennessee, where we are, Georgia and Alabama. I was looking at the map and yeah, probably that second ridge is in Georgia and Alabama you can probably see far in the distance. The owner, apparently descendant from a Roman family, uses the traditional techniques to make their wine, which is actually very nice. Their Tuscan-style Sangiovese is magnificent. Besides seeing the three states, the balcony is also a good spot to enjoy the sunset. The second mountain is Georgia, is it from your bank? and the third one is the Alabama. Yeah, I, my bank breaks all the time. About that. It's just my, no, it's just and the sun is like just setting. Like We're waiting for our pizza. And the pizza finally arrives. Salud. Bon appetit. Salud again. Okay, let's enjoy that view one last time. Well, it is time to go. Well, I'm, uh, she texted me this morning. I'm on the way to work. So I called her. I was like, what? She's like, what's that joke? That you left with my dad. It looks like they were expecting a lot more people.
Rad Power Bikes is an electric bike manufacturer offering direct-to-consumer pricing on powerful premium electric bikes. Because they sell directly to you, the consumer, you won't see the large retail markup that would be present if you were buying from a third party or a dealer, ensuring you're always getting a performance e-bike at a fraction of the cost. Visit www.radpowerbikes.com or call 1-800-939-0310 to learn more about their models or to place an order. Now offering free shipping on all four models. Good morning from Marion County Park in Jasper, Tennessee. Actually, let me show you all this from a different perspective. light green area down there, that lawn, that's part of the Tennessee Welcome Center. And standing there is how we discovered this campground. Well, as much as we liked this place, we have an eclipse to catch. And we still, at this point, haven't totally discarded the Nebraska option. That would be a long way. So, west, northwest, we go. But before we go, we need to make a dump. This looks like the dump station, only that it is not. Okay, this is it, but we are now facing the wrong way. <sighs> well, I'm actually getting pretty good at backing this thing up. landscape becomes increasingly beautiful as we enter the Tennessee Appalachians. The next portion of the road will be the most difficult part of this entire trip so far, particularly for old Kia, our tow vehicle. This is supposed to be one of the most treacherous stretches of the interstate highway system, particularly in bad weather. Good thing today is sunny. We have to climb Mount Eagle Mountain, as it is known locally here in the Tennessee Appalachians. It is a four-mile stretch with grades of 5 and 6 percent. It is technically not a mountain, since it is part of the Cumberland Plateau, but it sure feels like a mountain to me, and to old Kia for sure, grinding in low gear all the way to the top. Although we don't want to lose momentum, we have to slow down to about 40 miles per hour to prevent the engine from overheating too much. Yay! We made it. Let's take a break. Do you see that arrow on the floor? Well, I'm glad you did, because I sure didn't. 
Yep, that just happened. We went the wrong way into the Wendy's drive-thru. Good thing I'm starting to get really good at backing this thing up. Perhaps I'm a little more tired than I thought. Let's break for lunch here at the truck stop. Well, the way down is supposed to be even more dangerous than the way up, so I'll just shift to low gear and try not to gain too much momentum. As we go into the path of totality, we start seeing signs about the solar eclipse. And there is Nashville. Man, I wish I could stay here for a couple of days. We really like this city. The last time we were here, it was just too short, too rushed. Let's take a break here by the small city of Pleasantville, Tennessee. Check the weather forecast, reassess our travel plans. It is looking actually more and more like Nebraska will not be the best place to see the solar eclipse. The forecast calls for cloudy weather, so we decided to stop at Hopkinsville, Kentucky instead. We make it to the Kentucky state line and I decide to take a fresh new picture with the state sign. We also decide to stop by the visitor center, you know, get some info about the area and the upcoming solar eclipse. Is that a cool plane or what? It must be landing at the army installation nearby Fort Campbell. We arrive at the Walmart Supercenter here in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, with every intention of spending the night. It is, after all, one of those Walmarts marked in yellow in the Allstays app, and those are usually okay to park overnight. But we called and they said no. In fact, we called every single Walmart nearby and got the same answer. I'm sure that this being a prime location to watch the solar eclipse had to have something to do with it. But now, what do we do? Well, let's park, regroup and think about this. It is such a beautiful day, isn't it? But it's even more beautiful now because we found somewhere to stay. It turns out that there's a KOA called Prizer Point in this area called the Kentucky Lakes that has vacancy. We actually had to call and there is a minimum of four nights, which is perfect, it was uh, 300 bucks. Exactly the time we need, by the way, this area encompasses Kentucky Lake, Lake Barkley and an island called the Land between the lakes. An area completely unknown to us, we had no idea. And we are always eager and excited to explore somewhere new. And it is such a beautiful drive. Watch out for deer, though, if you're driving around here. They can jump in front of your car when you least expect it. Come on, little one, you can cross too. They must be expecting a lot of people because they have someone out here to greet us. Of course, we are not on the list, since we made the reservation what, about an hour ago. So he calls the office asking for instructions and directs us to check in at the main office. Here we have to explain again. We are directed to this new area called the Ridge. 
that I suspect they built especially for this event. This is actually perfect. Lots of room, open skies, and now we have two whole days to kill here. We are going to take advantage of our time though and take it slow, explore the whole area. On the next video. I think I forgot to turn off the GoPro. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.